Good afternoon, everybody. Good day to you all. You're going to have to put up with the noise in the background if you can hear it. It's a lawnmower man doing the grass on the campsite. Yep. Right, we've got another review for you today, but it's not my review today. Maz is going to do her first review. I'm going to try. So bear with me. <laughs> what are you going to be reviewing, Mazzy? Well, let me show you. This is the motorhome hairdryer. 12 volt. 12 volt travel hairdryer. This now could be my lifesaver, could be all of yours lifesavers. I'm looking forward to review reviewing this. <laughs> okay, which, which company is it from, Mazzy? What are they called? I, 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 Ixo. Oh, you are so, so close. Oh, really, what is it? Ixu. Ixu! I nearly said Ixu. it, I think, didn't I? Ixu! Uh, it's actually a Spanish company. Yes. Um, yeah, okay, I'm going to hand it over to you. I'm, I'm not in this, I'm just going to be behind the camera. Uh, I'll keep interrupting, because that's what I do. But you're going to be doing most of it. You've, you've got am... slightly wet hair at the moment, Mazzy. Yes, Mazzie. I've just got out the shower and I'm ready to test this out. Okay, let's do this. Right, let's get this beauty unboxed. Now, I haven't been inside this box and I'm very excited. I do know what colour it is because I chose the colour. I think it was silver. And I'm sure they have five or six different colours. So here we go, straight away you get, let me just lift it up, this is all a pack. So straight away you get your instructions. Do I need instructions? Probably not, I did have a demonstration on this. So I'm just going to dive into the box. I get my ways from down you see. Right, oh okay. Right, got a couple of attachments. Don't really know what they're for at the moment. Let's get this out. Okay, so it's all in one piece. You haven't got to build it. And what we have there, we have, I'm sure that's called a diffuser. I'm not that clever. Some screws. Okay, so I'm guessing you can permanently put this on your bathroom wall or wherever you wish to. Right, let's get this opened. Anyway, I feel like this is something out of Aliens. If you've seen the film Aliens, backpack on your back. <laughs> okay, stop being silly, Maz. Also, I do feel this is actually quite stylish, though. This is quite stylish. It's something... Oh, okay. I like that. Is that magnetic? I actually think that's magnetic. Oh, I'm holding it up the wrong way. But I think I'm going to show you, but you can actually have this up either way. So no way is the right way or wrong way. That's magnetic. Let's plug this in and to give this a try. Okay, first things first. Before we can plug this in, I've got the attachment, which has to be, which I've just worked out that these screws are for these. So I'm going to pass you over to my lovely assistant today to help me with this. Who's Before... that? Me? Yes, Oh, all right course. then. Oh, can I do some screwing on that? Yes, you can do some screwing, darling. Sorted. So easy peasy, that's literally the only thing you have to do when you receive this. And actually, you don't even technically need this. I'm going to show you what this is for in a minute. <clears throat> right, so let's plug this in for a start. One thing I do want to uh, mention, look at the size of this lead. So this is 12 volt. You can't plug this in. This is only 12 volt. Everybody has a 12 volt socket. Yeah, we're using the yeah. one on this power bank at the moment. Yep. Um, we've got another power bank which has got one on the front there. But in your motorhomes you will find them everywhere. We've got, yeah, one, we've got one up, up there, there. And you've obviously got the one in the cab of the van. Yep. So no problems with that. No problems with that. So shall we turn this on just to see how much wattage this takes first or? Yes, go on then. Right, so let's turn this baby on. There we go. Middle Let button. that set. Oh, it's on, Margaret. It's on. How do you turn it on and off? It is at 
32 watts. That's good. That's incredible. That is so low because you've used hair dryers which have been over 800 watts, I'm sure you have. I have, and even this doesn't power my normal household hair dryer. Right, so to turn this on and actually off, you've got a little switch there. There we go. Easy peasy so far. But does it work, Mazzy? Does it work? That's the question, but I'm not using it yet. I need to show everybody what exactly this is for. Right, so what this is actually for is every motorhome has this. I'm not sure about caravans. I'm guessing so. Have they? Caravans? Got these vent holes. All right, if you come down here. So yeah. we all have these vent holes. Now, if you have one in the bathroom or in the bedroom, you can obviously clip it in and have it halfway up the wall. But again, this is the right way up, but if they're on the floor down there like that, you just turn it around. Okay. So you can clip this in, easy peasy, just like that, and you can, it's mounted. So if you've got one halfway up the wall, you've got a mounted hairdryer. Now I'm going to explain exactly why you're going to want to put this on your um, air vent. In a minute. <laughs> Just use the air dryer. We want to see the air dryer working, Mazzy. Do it on cold first. Take it off there and just right. blow your hair. Let me blow my hair. My hair is drying out already now, okay? Go on then, put but it on. Let's see if it works. Now, let me see if this is really going to... This is so stretchy. See, I would normally do my hair in here. Okay, so this... This is fantastic already and it's really good quality. That's not... That is actually good quality. Let me give this a go. Is she ever going to dry her hair today? <laughs> oh, wow! So that's blowing cold, I presume? This is blowing cold, yes. Okay. So the whole point then, in, by putting it onto your air fence, if you want warm water, um, if you want warm heat, you put your heating on and then it'll come out warm. What you have to do is get your heating up to heat then you can turn your heat off mm. and you will still get hot air coming out for 10 yeah. minutes. 10 yeah. minutes apparently. Right, so for a 12 volt um, hair dryer, this is actually pretty good. But bear in mind, it's still only 12 volts. So you're only going to get so much still air out of it. It's not going to be ever as good as your home hair dryers like your um, GHDs, etc. Um, so it's going to take you a bit longer to dry your hair. But I tell you what, for a 12 volt, and I'll be honest now, I have actually brought um, a travel hair dryer, which you plug in, properly plug in. Yeah. From Asda's, I'm going to say where I got it from. Yeah. And as soon as I plugged it in, it blew up. It did. It actually did. It's it blew started up. smoking yep. and blew up. It was starting some, I had to re return it. This is safe. This is only 12 volts. And, and it uses hardly any watts. Hardly any watts. And Brilliant. do you know what I feel this is good for as well? Which you actually mentioned the other day, what you felt this would be good for. Go on. Just to cool you down. Well, they actually invented this in, I don't know if it's Barcelona, but it's Spain. I've, Spain, I've got Barcelona yeah. in my head for yeah. some reason. <laughs> I think it's invented in Barcelona. And you can imagine why, because they won't need it on heat. No. Now, nobody needs it on heat. The guy at the show did tell us it yes. isn't heat which dries your hair, it's, it's the air flow. the air flow. Apparently that's come from a hairdresser herself, so they know what they're talking about. So uh, the only reason you're using that is for comfort. If you want the hot yeah. air, it's just for your personal choice, but you don't need it. No. I now think that this would be good for your pets when you're washing your dogs or if you brought your dog, you've been out for a walk and stuff, you can dry your dogs, can't you? Could. I think it's pretty good. Could dry your nails, Mazzy. I mean, that's really sturdy on there. This hose is actually really, really good quality. That fits um, a lot better than I thought it would. Yeah. I thought we were going to struggle getting that on, but it's easy. But just bear in mind now, you're only attaching that to your air vent if you want the hot air. Let me just pull this off. Um, I probably wouldn't use the hot air, so no. you could just place it anywhere and have it accessible. Well, as I say, you if know? you're happy with the product and you're going to keep it, just wall yeah. mount it. Yeah, just wall mount it and, and it's really stylish as well. I mean, even just the brand there, I quite like this. It's Diff really different stylish. Colours. Yeah, Diff yeah, you can get six or six or seven different colours, six I'm sure. You can. You yeah. Can. 
So like I mentioned as well, I'm sure this is called a diffuser, but I'm not 100% sure. You get a diffuser with it as well. I'll call it that today. There we go. Easy peasy on. But I will just add, it doesn't then fit onto this. So this is an attachment you're just going to have to store away separate. But this is magnetic. If you see here, look. Oh, this is that is, what that was for? I yeah. thought it was an on-off switch. It's so easy to just get on and off. It's so good. I love this. I would consider actually mounting this. What I would say is you can mount this on your wall wherever you want, but I'm not sure about caravans. I'm not, not sure about other motorhomes. They might already have one of these airflow things. Let me show yes, you. Yes, sorry. They might have one of them up on the wall or in the bathroom. I don't yes. know. I don't know if they're different or not. Yeah. But yeah, very good, very good. Very good product, and this could be the future. For a 12 volt. This is actually really, really good. I'm in love with this. It's the first one we've seen which works, which is 12 volts. Yes, and I've never seen anything quite like it either. It's so stylish. I love this. Right, let's get on to the price. So let's talk about price then. How much was this? The recommended retail price is £129.99. I can see why, yes. I have seen it in one shop online have at that you? price. I've yeah. also seen it in another shop at £99.99, .99, which I think is what you're mm -hmm. going to pay for it online. Yeah. If you get it at the show, at you... the last show where we picked this up, the £69.99. Show price. Special show price. So I'm not saying it's going to be like that at all the shows. No. But uh, you might pick it up cheap there, but online, £99.99. .99. Yes. So we've just been discussing off camera, I think Maz mm. has decided she is going to be putting... You're going to keep this, aren't you? And I'm you're definitely going to... going to keep this. This is an amazing product. I've just been jotting all over the bedroom to where exactly I can keep it permanently kind of thing. I'm going to show one, Mazzy. Can I show one? <laughs> yeah! I'll show you where we've decided Oh, uh, well, we haven't really nicely. decided. I've been deciding. OK. This door here. Mazzy's wardrobe. It'll just go nicely on there. Yeah, but there were some other places as well that I'd try thinking of. I thought personally, in here, get rid of the rubbish out of there and have it permanently in the back. No. Because this hose and this lead is That's so half long. Mine. That's half mine. I've got the two shelves. <laughs> but anyway, this product, I'll, I'll be honest, is such a good product. The Ixu. Ixu, that's correct, you said it right, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think we're going to put it there, and I think you're going to have a little mirror there. She isn't happy with having a mirror oh, there, what but... Good, what good is a mirror there? Come back down anyway. Right, so if you don't want to take my word for it, that how good this product is, the chap himself is actually going to be at the next Peterborough show, and he does an awful lot more other shows as well. So go and try it out for yourself, and don't forget as well you, that you get a special show price. No, not necessarily. You did at the last but we show. Did it we don't know one. if there is yeah. at the next one. Yeah, I can't guarantee that. But go and but test yeah. them out for yourself. Don't you know? Just I'm keeping this anyway. This is mine. We <laughs> did find at the Yorkshire. <laughs> motorhome and camper van show yes. we were talking about products at the show and a lot of people bought the products because of us showing them in the video yes and they actually came up to us and said was that really that yeah. good was it or was it rubbish and we were advising people all around the show yes. and we was, a lot of things got sold because of us, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they did. You know, people so, do trust us and our words. We are honest. We all say how it oh is. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. so, as uh, Mazzy said, at the shows, if you do get to any of yes. the shows, you can test it out yourself. Test but it out yourself. Take our word for it. That is going to yeah. dry your hair very, very low wattage. It'll do yep. the job fantastically. Yep. I hope you liked my review today. Your first ever review, Mazzy. Yes. Well done. Next well time, done. I'll do it by myself without my assistant, of mm. course. <laughs> Next time, it's back over to me to do a proper review. There we go. Hope you enjoyed that. The Ixu Motorhome Travel Hair Dryer. See you again. Coming soon for another review. God, you think you're getting a job on QVC, <laughs> you, don't you? Bye-bye.